Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will discover radial groove milling. It cuts the grooves with a T cutter. We were uh, cutting the grooves with T cutter with Penner profile before this operation. First, we choose the grooves. It is enough to choose the groove surface for it. You can change the uh, Z axis as in all hole making operations. And uh, you can see the diameter, start diameter and uh, depth along tool axis values here and you can change them if you don't want to use the values in the, in the geometry we click OK the ax, you can see the axial and radial step overs and we click generate for this operation we should uh, deactivate the collision check for cutting. It is uh, it doesn't have any logic actually, but you must do this. Okay, let's look what it's doing. It makes an engage move makes the cut, makes the retract move and makes the second cut it lifts plunges and cuts the second uh, groove this groove diameter is uh, larger so it makes two uh, step overs ok, as you can see it starts from selling and goes to floor there is an uh, option for this center to selling the floor center selling and floor center selling and floor We can make rough and finish operations with these parameters, with these options. Dot to V, I click enter, and you can see the change on the graphics. I click OK, click generate. OK, now it makes a roughing operation and it leaves a stock here ok, how we will make the finish copy, paste and I will change the stocks use 3D Okay, and generate uh, for finishing operations you don't have to do this you just click the radial step over and click generate because otherwise you should use uh, you should define a blank for it as you can see it make a finishing move can see ok 
okay it's all for this operation thank you for watching if you like the video please press the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe